Right, I'm gonna color my hair with a color that I've just bought from Asda. The reason that I'm gonna do this is because I get asked a lot of questions about people coloring their hair at home. I get sent a lot of pictures of people who have colored their hair at home and it's gone wrong. Um, and this has happened a lot over the last 12 months. And what has become really apparent to me with this is the lack of knowledge that there is for people to be able to colour their hair at home. It's overwhelming in fact. I've been down um, many colour aisles and looked into it and even as a qualified hairdresser who's been in the industry for 25 years, it's overwhelming. Like I really struggled to pick out a colour that I was going to use on my own hair. It's very confusing. I want to use my Instagram and uh, YouTube to try and help advise people and show different ways that these products work. So I've picked a colour that I'm going to put on my hair and I'm going to show you how it comes out basically. So my hair is completely natural. So um, what, when I say it's completely natural, like you can see that I have got grey hair. So. I have, this is literally my natural colour. The colour that is at the end is like faded out highlights from before. So when I say I've got no colour, I've not used a dark colour to cover up any grey in my hair. No, I've never put a dark colour on my hair. Because if you have dark colour on your hair, that will affect what you buy and put on your hair at home. So my hair is literally a natural hair colour. So I didn't want to use a permanent hair colour. I wanted to just lift my hair and make it a little bit, um, yeah, just lift it a little bit. I don't want anything that's going to cover my hair completely. I just literally want to brighten it up. So I decided to go for, after much time looking for something that I felt was appropriate, is I've gone for a Castings, L'Oreal Castings Cream Gloss. Now this is a, um, a non, no ammonia colour, which I've been asked about non-ammonia colour before, and it, as far as I'm aware, what ammonia does is it's the it's the chemical, if you like, that goes into the hair and opens up the hair shaft. So if your colour has no ammonia in it, there will be another chemical that will be doing that with, to your hair instead of the ammonia. One thing that ammonia does is it stinks. So the fact that this, and it actually says this on the box, no ammonia for a pleasant smell. So um, yeah, so I've chosen to do that. I've chosen to use 1010, which is ice light blonde. I'll just hold that. What I'll do is I'll put a photo up of it so you can see it, because I think it's a bit blurry. <laughs> different shades of what your hair should be. Now my hair is darker naturally than what it says. So it says blonde. So basically what this means is that I'm not going to get the results that it tells you that it's going to get. But that doesn't mean that I can't use it and I, will, and I will show you the result that I get once I put it on my hair. Okay, so this is um, a gloss. So it will only lift the hair a couple of shades. It won't, um, if you use a permanent colour, if, it's, if, it, if it covers grey hair, it's going to lift your hair a lot. And, and if you've got colour build up on your hair, you will likely get a different colour on your root than you will on your end. And that's what's so alarming about the fact that you can just go into a shop and buy a colour like this and have no idea of what's going to happen to your hair. And, and I get sent pictures like that quite a lot. So that's why I'm doing this. Okay, it is essential that you do a skin test. I have been sent people's um, reactions in the past where they've coloured their hair at home and they've come out in massive reactions. So it is really, really important that you do a skin test. So make sure you read the instructions on the back. Um, okay, what comes in this box? So we have um, a developer. We have, this is the colour. And then we have conditioner with some honey. Oh, and then we should have some gloves. So I am going to put this colour on my hair and I'm going to show you, uh, yeah, we'll show you the result. I'm really excited because obviously I've never coloured my hair ever with a home hair colour. So I'm using my hairdressing knowledge and it'll be interesting to see, um, yeah, how it all turns out. So yeah. Right, so first of all, make sure 
actually cover your clothes. So I'm just going to put a towel around my shoulders like this. I'm going to put a little clip here. I need to keep my arms accessible. <laughs> okay, and then we have... This is the developer, so then we're going to mix in the casting cream gloss, which is 1010. So I've I have got grey hair, but. Um, you know, a lot of people ask me about covering grey hair and what colour should they be. So this is not a colour that is going to cover grey hair, but for me, grey hair is not really an issue. Like, yeah, I have some, but who cares? <laughs> I mean, these are really easy um, application bottles, which is great. Oh, actually, make sure you put your gloves on. It's important to remember that these are chemicals, so you don't want to be getting it in your eye. And it's best that you cover your hands. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go through the middle like this. Go all the way down, part your hair, all the way down the back. And then we'll go down the side. Like that, in the root. Down this way, like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna go around my hairline, like that. And the other way. And then what you do is you go, take it section by section, and just put it down the root like this. This is a way to make sure that all of the hair is covered and it's not patchy. Obviously my hair is shorter. Okay. Also, because this is not, a, this is a gloss, so this is like a semi-permanent color. So I can put this through to the end of my hair pretty much straight away. If you're using a permanent hair colour, if you put the colour through to the ends of your hair, and this is another thing that I get asked quite a lot, the colour will build up darker and darker on the ends, and if you're using a dark colour. But yeah, it's, it's really important if you're doing a permanent hair colour that you don't take it through to the ends. that actually I must admit it has come out a lot stronger than what I had anticipated but I like it it feels good the condition feels good it's really picked up the different tones in my hair which I think is amazing uh, if you're going to use this on your hair at home it is essential that you have natural hair color if you've dyed your hair with another color so it, um, that is darker from here down the root is going to come out a completely different color to the the ends um, also, if your hair is heavily highlighted, as you can see where it, um, it is highlighted, the colour won't take on it. So if you've got quite a heavy regrowth, in any way, this is going to look a completely different colour to what it does on the um, other coloured hair. But other than that, yeah, it's lifted out. I would call this more a permanent colour. Although it hasn't covered my grey hair, you can still see a few of them, um, it's a pretty strong colour. But yeah, I am actually quite impressed. It's come out a really nice tone. It's actually, it's actually pretty much exactly what I wanted. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah.